social media image creation tool that everyone seems to be talking about this year is Canva, that's C-A-N-V-A. It's a really useful tool for creating images to share on your blog posts, to share on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, etc. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to create a compelling header image for your Facebook page. Firstly, go to the website canva.com, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And once you've signed in, you can sign in with Facebook or you can open an account independently. You'll see it gives you these options for the sort of graphic that you want to create. So we're going to create a Facebook cover. I click onto that. And now I can choose from a number of themes that it has here. Any of these that have the cloud and the countryside in, you can actually slot your own images into there as well. So it's a nice way to showcase maybe products or your stuff. I'm going to create a simple one. Okay, so this is my template now. I can add to that. The first thing I want to do is I want to change this text. So I'm going to open a cat cafe. So I want to create a graphic for a cat cafe. In order to edit the text here, I need to click on text on the left hand side. And you can see there's lots of bits of text I can add in if I want to. But this one already has a nice text layout. So I just need to click on the element that I want to change. And again here. Now that's a little bit big because I want to create some images. I want to add some images in here. So again, if I click onto this, I can resize it so that it fits in the corner. So the next step is I want to add in some photos. So you can add photos of your own. If you go into uploads, you can find ones that you've uploaded already or you can search your Facebook images for images that you would like to add in here too. If you want to add some stock images, Canva have over a million images. So I'm going to search for cats. And here there's lots of pictures of cute cats. Now the ones I really like are these ones here and you'll notice when you hover your cursor over it it'll show you a specific price for that image. So if I was to use three images as I'm going to in this it would cost me three dollars to download that. Now there are some free images available as well but not in all categories. So I like this little chap, I'm going to add him in and I can tell that he's one of the images I have to pay for because you can see the crisscross in the Canva watermark. That'll go away once I purchase the image. Okay, I like that one. This little fella, he's kind of cute, isn't he? Have him walking up and this guy too. And I'll make him a bit smaller. Now you can see the tail of this cat is obscuring the background here, so I can actually bring this forward. And that's looking better. And also the white text here is blending in a little bit with the colour of the cat. So I go back to my text select tool, click onto cat, and here is the colour that we're using for the cat. And this is the font size as well, so you can choose that, and the, the shadow, the drop shadow that they're using on it. Here I'm just going to change the cat colour, I'm going to change it to the same orange as the rest of it, click outside. Once you've messed around with that and you're happy with that, you can um, save it. So link and publish here. So that's the link to the image, um, but if I want to publish it, I can click on here or I can download a PDF. And now you can see I'm going to have to pay my $3, which is what it's going to cost me to get this. Once I've done that, I can download the image and I can upload it to my page.